Hello and welcome to my tutorial on Halo Geno Alkanes. So these are single bonded um, organic compounds and they contain at least one halogen. They all, and all halogens have a different pre prefix. So a halogen can be fluor fluorine, chlorine, bromine or iodine. Now these, these are on group 7 of the periodic table. And if you want a quick reminder, go to the F321 playlist on my channel and look for group 7 tutorials and they're near the bottom of the playlist so to name these um, molecules free bromo because it's on, they're on the third carbon chain and this is 2 chloro because it's on the second so this will be free bromo we'll do it in alphabetical order 2 chloro pentane so, you, you alphabet. So if there's more than if there's, if there's more than one halogen, then alphabetically name it. If there's just one, if there's just one halogen, so if it if it was no bromine there, it would just be two. Oops. Two. Chloro. Pentane. Yeah, it'll be two chloro pentane. Um, and the next point that I talk about is their reactivity. So halogen atoms are more electronegative electronegative than carbon atoms, and the electronegativity is the ability for an atom to attract bonding electrons to its itself. So bromine would attract the bonding electrons better than carbon and fluorine is the most electronegative atom on the periodic table now the bonding electrons would be more on fluorine side than carbon as it's more attractive t to the bonding electrons so a polar bo bond is formed so a negative slightly negative side the slightly positive side is formed and the electronegativity of each of the atoms decreases down the group and therefore their polarity decreases so if we have a look there is an electron deficient carbon atom because one of the bonding electrons and carbon is used during the bond um, and they react with nucleophiles in substitution reactions that a nucleophile is a reactor that attacks the electron deficient carbon atom donating the electron pair and they contain a, an electronegative atom with a, lo with a lone pair of electrons so that could be anything like H2O because it has two lone pairs OH- or ammonia with one lone pair OH- would have have about yeah, two bonding pairs, sorry, lone pairs, not bonding pairs. One bonding pair between the hydrogen, like this. But one, two, three, four, and one there. You need a pair of electrons to make a lone pair. So two bonding, two lone pairs. And since it's a minus ion, yes. On that side, yes. Three lone pairs then. Um, anyway. Aqueous sodium hydroxide can be commonly used to hydrolyze a halogeno alkane. So, if I just write an example, CH3, CH2, uh, Cl plus OH minus a nuclear file with which I have decided now it's three lone pairs because the minus ion means an electron has been gained by the oxygen. So, three lone pairs pairs around the ion. So, now that I've got that cleared up, this will happen. CH3, CH2, CH2, OH, uh, plus Cl minus, as the Cl becomes an, 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 an ion, a negatively charged ion and it forms propan one oh that's the product the first product of the reaction 
So this is hydrolysis. It's when water or aqueous hydroxide ions that break a chemical compound break a chemical compound into two different compounds. So if we look at the next page, then I can show you a couple more examples of a halogeno alkane. So C C C C H C L C H three. So naming this particular molecule we have one, two, three, four, five carbons, so it's a pent. It's pent something. Looking at the next um, step, we have a chlorine atom on carbon one, two, so we count from the right. So it will be two chloro. And is it an alkane? Yes, because it's a hal halogeno alkane, so it's two chloropentane. That's how to name that particular one. Um, and we'll go for an, another one. C H. Not displayed. Not the split. Not that one. One, two, three, four, five. This one's going to take a bit longer, so I'll go for a jump cut. So naming this one, this would be one. Two. There's a bromine down there. And we have one, two, three, four, five carbons again. So this is a pen, another pentane, and there's an iodine there. So this would be two bromo, three iodo pentane. Uh, another quick thing to add um, for each of the halogen alkanes they have their own prefixes as I mentioned earlier and these are their prefixes this is for iodine this is for bromine this is for chlorine and this is for fluorine and that's all of the examples I have so that's the end of this tutorial uh, thank you for watching